there everyone! Transformers fans and Toy Notes fans alike, make sure you hit subscribe now so you don't miss out on our review for this awesome Transformers toy. So guys, I'm Kelsey with ToyNotes.com and welcome back. Glad to have you guys along while I get to play with an awesome Transformers toy. This is the Transformers Generations Titans Returns Fortress Maximus and it has three modes of play. And it's huge. I mean, you guys can see how big it is. I can't even, like, hug this box, really. Um, so I'm super excited. It's rated for kids 8 and older. And just looking at it, it looks like it's going to be one of those toys that kind of goes with a set but has a lot to do on its own as well. So that's a big thumbs up for me. So let's go ahead and pull this guy out of the package. That way we can play. guys so this transformer is enormous there's a lot going on here and he was quite a challenge to get unboxed which is kind of a challenge to get to stand up um, anyway so unboxing you're definitely gonna want a good pair of scissors there were those like uh, rope ties that I always complain about um, the little plastic zip ties lots of things to like clip and unbutton and then what you're gonna end up with is this toy it stands no, I'd say he stands probably two foot at least. Um, and then he has both arms, but one of them's actually detached in the package. So that's going to clip right here as far as I know. Urgh. Man, that's a little bit hard to do. Okay, uh, so we have an arm. Not really sure what this is, but thank the Lord. We have instructions and stickers and a Fortress Maximus card, like a baseball card. So let me read these. I hate reading instructions, but I'm going to read them for you guys. And then you guys can come in for your closer look and we'll play together with our new Fortress Maximus. All right, guys. So I'm going to do a closer look with you guys for the Transformers Generation Titan Returned. Titan class Fortress Maximus. So that's a long mouthful. Basically, this is Fortress Maximus. Um, I'm going to have a kind of a hard time getting you guys really close to the closer look just because he stands very tall. He's easily two, two and a half feet tall. And I can tell you that my problem with this toy already is one, it was very expensive, but two, there are a lot of directions just to use him. That's just part of the direction sheet there. And all of this up here is just sticker placement. Um, I don't know if you guys can see real well. Um, there's like stickers all here and here, 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 all along the back. And there's 50 something stickers. It took me probably 40 minutes just to put the stickers on this. Um, so I don't know. I get kind of frustrated with toy makers who do that because I just feel like why am I paying this much for a toy when I'm going to spend 45 minutes just putting stickers on it? Now, he does take two AAA batteries in order to do the sounds and everything. I'm going to show you really quick how he transforms without the sounds, um, just because he is a little bit loud. So I'm going to try to do this. This is my first time actually converting him, so I'm going to use my instructions here because it's not real easy to learn. So first off you take his head off okay and flip something down. Oh it's like he's like a little robot guy. Okay so we flip that back portion down which is gonna let his legs out See, and his arms Okay, so we have a little mini transformer here. Oh, you see him? There you go. So we got our mini transformer, and that was his head. 
Now, transforming the rest of the robot. Let's see here. So it says you take the head off, then you can bring this forward. Okay. The arms go up. I don't know if you guys can see how kind of clunky he is. He's a little bit clunky. Okay, arms are up, and then his torso rotates. Okay, so torso rotates that way, and these come down, and to say something else comes down. Oy vey, you guys, this is a lot of instructions. Um, so now his feet here are supposed to be flipped down. Oof, there we go. Now he can't stand up, so I gotta lay him down. All right, so laying down now, this is step 11. So 11 shows what exactly that these come up or oh my gosh okay so those come up that's 11 and 12 holy moses there's even more instructions on the back but they don't continue what is that supposed to even be? It doesn't look like anything. Okay, so it says it's supposed to look like, like that. So that's, I mean, that's what it looks like, but it doesn't look like anything to me. In the picture, it almost looks like some kind of flying, like a plane of some sort, like an alien ship, but I'm not getting that off this. But then it looks like the back of the instructions show another completely different combination. Oh my gosh. All right, I'm gonna bring this in for you guys. I want you to see this. So like, look at all these steps, like one, two, three, four. And then he's supposed to look like that, which I don't even know what that's supposed to be. It doesn't say. One, two, three, four, and then that's where he was when we started. I don't understand this toy, like, at all. I'm really trying here, and I just don't get it. I don't get it. So, apparently, when you dismantle him, he's supposed to turn into part of... Cybertron City, but it's really lost on me, you guys. I mean, I like transforming toys, but I don't, I don't get it. I don't get like what this is supposed to look like. It doesn't look like anything. It just looks like a robot that's dilapidated. The instructions are not very clear. So I apologize for not having a better closer look for you guys. I really tried to give you guys a good idea and work with it with you guys. Um, but honestly, this thing is just kind of a pain in the butt. It takes 45 minutes to put the stickers on. It's hard to get out of the package. It's clunky to transform. The instructions really aren't clear. And honestly, for the price of it, I just don't think it was really worth it. Alrighty guys, well that's it for me today with the Titans Returns Transformers Fortress Maximus. This is one of the shapes that he takes. Um, all in all, this Transformer just doesn't do it for me. I paid a lot of money for this guy and he's big and that's cool I guess if I were small. But he's also cumbersome, doesn't work very well. All the pieces move really stiffly and the instructions were just step after step after step after step after step and then I still didn't know what I was looking at at the end. So unfortunately this one's a bust. 
I didn't really like it that much. Um, I'd love to hear from you guys if you guys have played with it. I think this is might be just more like a collectible toy um, because I feel like this was a redo of an older Fortress Maximus. Um, and it's probably improved upon that. I didn't play with the original one. But it's still not great and it wasn't very entertaining. So I think I was more bored because I was just following like 20 hundred steps to like still not know what I was looking at. But I'd love to hear from you guys if you guys have played with it. And if you love it, that'd be awesome to hear. Um, also, make sure you check us out at ToyNotes.com because I have played with several other toys that are kind of collectible nostalgia toys. And I think you might enjoy that. And make sure you're subscribed right here at Toy Notes right here on YouTube. As we always want to see you back for more Toy Notes fun. And until next time, guys. See you soon.